And here we are. Germany with Iron Man enabled. Poland, army size, zero divisions. France, army size, zero divisions. UK, army size, zero divisions. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming. If you don't know a lot about me, I'm a guy who makes exploit videos, particularly for Hearts of Iron 4, but I'm looking to branch out into other games. Do you want to help me out? Do you want me to give you an incentive to help me out? Well, guess what? I am paying on my Discord right now for any exploits for games. These can be groundbreaking strategies working as intended or playing with the game mechanics and breaking them. You hop onto my Discord, the link is down below, and I have made a dedicated chat to approve comments and pay you guys for the exploits and game breaking strategies that you find. Join my Discord now. Do you know what time it is, guys? Do you know what time it is? It is time for a glorious afternoon coffee. That's right, a cup of coffee. I am British and I love a lovely, dark, mysterious glass of coffee. Mmm. Oh, amazing. Oh, you're still here. So you, you want to know what it's all about, right? Yeah. There's a very high chance you'll walk away from this video thinking, wow, this shouldn't exist, and this requires zero skill for me to pull this off. And if you think that, you're damn right. Would you like another giveaway? What do you win? Any PDX DLC of your choice, up to a value of $20. How do you enter? You must subscribe, you must bell my YouTube channel, you must like this video, and you must find the secret hashtag code somewhere in this video and comment it below. That's right, somewhere in this video is a hashtag that will flash on screen, and you need to comment that in the comment section below. When will you announce the winner? Exactly two hours after this video goes live. But this isn't the only video that's gonna have a giveaway for PDX DLC. The next videos will also have giveaways in the exact same method. Videos will go live roughly about 6 p.m. on a weekday or weekend whenever a video is ready. You have two hours to find the hashtag within my video and comment it below as well as the sub, bell and like. May the best commenter win. Here we go. Single player, new game, 1939. Ooh. Start as Germany with Iron Man enabled. Let's go. So there are two achievements in House of Iron 4 that you can only get in 1939 start. You may have heard of it, the 30 minutes of hell. I made a video on this and I also made a ridiculously long sequel where I got to 20, I think it was 2018, 2019 of in-game time. That was a mistake. Why did I do that? But if you want to watch that crazy video, click on the eye in the top right. And the other achievement is don't die for your country. In 2019, there was a Paradox Con in Berlin. I was there and it was a lot of fun. And the challenge at that PDX Con was to start as Germany in 1939, occupy all of Poland and France without taking any casualties. I don't recall what the record was. I think it was less than 100 casualties, but they've gone for something a little bit more reasonable of 475 casualties, which is still pretty much a hard challenge. It's not easy. Let's make it 110% easier. Step one, all divisions on the right side, we'll select them all, pop them onto an army, Front line, offensive order, put them on aggressive, and go. All the divisions on the left side, front line, go, aggressive, go, 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 go. Good. This is an Iron Man game. As you can see on the right, Iron Man achievements are available. That's right. And when you're in Iron Man mode, you're unable to open up the console. So the console is the teal key. I'm pressing it right now, and it's doing absolutely nothing. Open the console. We need to be in a regular game of Hearts of Iron 4, a non-Iron Man game. And we have just the game for that certain occasion. Let's hop into that game now. And here we are, a Soviet game. I was playing at some point in time. What we're going to do now is hit the teal key. Here is the console. The teal key is below the escape key and above the tab key. And then we're going to type into here, observe. We are now in observer mode. The two buttons you'll get at the top of the screen, you'll get the observe button, which basically changes who you're looking at. So you can see Germany, Czechoslovakia, Poland, and you see what divisions they've got and how much resources they've got, for instance. And then the second button allows you to take over that nation. Let's do it for France. So let's select France because we're looking at them right now. Right click to take off the cursor for observe mode and then click on the button to take over France. And we now have full control of France and we can move their divisions around and whatnot. What's important though is we need to be in observe mode when we do this. So open the console, observe once again, click on the observer, click on here, make sure the cursor still has the observer icon, and then we are going to escape and hop back into the German Reich Iron Man game. Oh, and what's this? We're in a German game here, an Iron Man game, and we're observing the UK. So what we're going to do is observe mode onto the UK, take control of the UK, and we are now playing as the UK in a German Man Iron Man game. Hmm. 
And we seem to have German achievements as well, even though we're playing as the UK. Hmm. Hold shift, left click on unassigned divisions. Assign them to an army. Delete them. F2, select the entirety of the navy. Pop them onto reserve. Click here and delete the entirety of their navy. That's right, scuttle the entire British navy. And to make sure they don't make divisions, we're going to go into the equipment and delete the guns. And we're also going to go into production and make sure they don't produce any more guns because we don't want any of those pesky British divisions. None of them. Okay, we're done now. We're going to hop back into that regular un Iron Man save once again and do the exact same thing for France. France, observer mode, hop into the Iron Man game. We're going to click on observe, observe on to France, take over France. Same again, collect all their divisions, delete them. Them, delete all of their guns, delete all of equipment they currently are producing, select the entirety of their navy, assign it to the reserve, click the reserve, delete them all. No ships for you, France. No. Again, the Un Iron Man save game. This time we're going to observe once again and we're going to left click on Poland. Poland is our next target and back onto the Iron Man save. Iron Man and Germany? But it's a French flag. Hmm. I wonder why. Okay, we're going to left click on uh, the observe, click on Poland. We're now controlling Poland, take control. Left click at all the divisions and delete them. Poland's got a small navy, but we'll get rid of that as well just to make sure it's gone. And same again. Let's get rid of those guns so they never come back and kill the production queue. Voila! Done. Go back to the un Iron Man save. Hop into observer. Observe Jimmy. Our primary main save. Boom, we're back. And finally, observe Germany and take control of Germany. And here we are. Germany with Iron Man enabled. Poland, army size, zero divisions. France, army size, zero divisions. UK, army size, zero divisions. Okay, what you want to do now is just play for a few days to let everything get into position. Play for a few days and then reload the save game back up again. For some reason, it thinks you're still playing as Poland. So it won't let you declare war on Poland. And now we can declare on Poland. There we go. And off we go. So at this point, they'll automatically move forward. But you can grab some of the faster divisions and just mop up most of the victory points. And off they go. And don't forget to do the same for France as well. Grab Paris and Calais. And for the most part, that will be it. There we go. Off we go. There we go. That's Poland gone. Partition Poland, you have to strictly say no. You must control all the cores of Poland. The Soviets have none. And then, finally, France. Voila! At this point, you're probably thinking, there you go, you've got the achievement, right? Uh, sadly, no. The achievement, confusingly, requires you to get Corsica as well. So what you've got to do is control all the cores of Poland and France in Europe, which also includes Corsica. And you're probably shouting right now, like, Dave, hang on, Corsica is in Europe. Yeah, it is. But it kind of defeats the purpose of the fact you've got to just capitulate them. You have to, like, invade their island in the Mediterranean as well. So, take that into account. Let's do a quick naval invasion. And let's also jump onto our navy and grab all our submarines and move them towards the Med. Why submarines? Because they're the ones that can only get into the Mediterranean through uh, Gibraltar. Let's move them there. Okay, they're here now. Let's put them on uh, naval invasion support. And off he goes to grab Corsica. Yay! Don't die for your country. Achievement unlocked. And funnily enough, they've just dropped a division just as we landed. Interesting. Oh, and the Soviets have declared on me. Now you're probably thinking, this is horrendously cheap. And you're probably thinking, I need a shower after watching this video because I feel so unbelievably dirty. Uh, yeah, me too. The honest truth is, I couldn't show you this achievement in a legitimate way. At the moment, it just doesn't work as intended. The objective should be to capitulate Poland and capitulate France, and that should be it. It shouldn't be this idea, I need to control certain cores on the map, because having to take out Corsica just isn't as it was intended from the original challenge. As you can see, the Soviets have declared on me. That's not as intended either. If I agree to the Molotov Pact and divide Poland, I'll lose calls on Poland, so therefore I can't get the achievement. If I say no, they declare war on me. Sure, it makes the challenge harder, but it defeats the purpose of the achievement. You're not just capitulating Poland and France, as it was at PDX 2019. You're also having to control the cores. To make it worse, the game calculates casualties based on the wars you currently are in. So if you're in no wars and you control all of Poland and France, you get this achievement for free. If after taking out Poland and France, you go for a sea line and you're successful and the allies all peace out, 
in that instance you get the achievement as well because the game classes that as no wars currently in progress so therefore no casualties so therefore you meet the threshold to get the achievement the hardest achievement in hearts of iron 4 at the moment is the easiest to get unfortunately i can't make a detailed guide to get this achievement as it currently stands this final part is for the pdx team hi dan and to fix this achievement You've just got to explicitly say that Poland and France has to be capitulated. You don't have to control territory. Otherwise, you run into all these different issues. Anyway, boys, thank you for taking part in the giveaway. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.